Welcome back to News 360. Let's now focus on education. The contractor who built the science laboratory for the Queen of Peace Senior High School in the Nadoli Kaleo district of the Upper West region has locked up the facility following non-payment for work done. This has thrown efforts by the school to promote science, technology and engineering in line with the national education agenda out of gear. Now the school's authority are therefore appealing to government to pay the contractor and get the laboratory reopened for effective teaching and learning to resume without delay. Uncle and Co Limited won the contract to construct the General Science Laboratory for the Queen of Peace Senior High School in December 2016. The project started in 2017 and was completed in 2019. It was handed over for use in December 2019. However, three years later, the contractor says his company has still not received payment for work done. This prompted the company to lock up the one-story building complex. The students were left stranded after being chased out of the facility by the contractor. The school was preparing for this year's National Science and Maths competition, which will take place on October 10. This is where we do our practice, and this is where the masters tell us, give us all the skills and techniques we need to do, and we learn everything. So if this is taken away from us, we will not be able to do our practices. Well. For example, pipetting. Someone can mistakenly pipette acid inside, which is very dangerous. So if we start learning now, we can do, but since the lab is being taken away, it will affect our academic performance. We've already planned to come and do discussions and all those stuff, but now we are going back to our various classrooms, and for that matter, it is going to affect us. Most of our practical things especially e -mass, chemistry, Physics. biology, like they are all kept in the lab. And some of us, we don't know, we've never seen a skeleton before. As the popular saying goes, that practice makes man perfect. If we don't come here to practice regularly, we are just going to mess up. So we are appealing with the government that he should come to our aid and take away the locks so that we will be able to have our practice and our practicals. Yenli Agbanyi Nathan heads the Queen of Peace Senior High School Science Department. Science is a practical based subject. Chemistry, physics, biology. And we have all our equipment and apparatus in there that students manipulate with. So just seeing this nice edifice being locked up, uh, I think it's quite unfortunate. So all we can say is that government should indeed come to the aid of the contractor. The contractor, Haji Daud Abdullah, said efforts to get government to pay him have been unsuccessful. When this current government came, they emphasized on seriously on mass and science education. So I have to mobilize all resources, including taking loans from the bank to facilitate the work. After completion and handing over this project since 2019, I've not been paid yet. I've been to get from several times. The sad aspect of the case is that the director is now a tin god. He's not ready to listen to anybody. He made a policy that he will not listen to any contractor. You go there, you are treated like a dog. The inflation is having a very high toll on me. The last cement I bought for this project in June 2019 was for 34 Ghana cities. Now cement is over 70 Ghana cities. This is a decision no businessman, especially a contractor, would like to take. But we have been pushed to the wall.